Hey guys, Dr. Matt Lyon here. I want to talk real quickly about um, eating. <laughs> I get this question all the time. Uh, should I be paleo? Should I be keto? How many carbs should I eat? What's the optimal way to eat? Especially for people who want to lose weight or who have like an inflammatory disorder or maybe they're struggling with depression and anxiety and they want to use food to balance out their body. I want to share a really easy way to think about this. Now look, on the, on the one hand, I really believe that if you will trust your intuition and do practices that get you balanced on the inside, like the meditation and breath work I teach, if you have an opportunity to come be my client um, in my kinesiology, my chiropractic kinesiology office, I can absolutely help you with this. But either way, I want you to begin to trust your intuition with eating, number one. Trust your intuition with eating. Number two, if it does not grow on a tree, or it was not an animal that ate those foods from grass or from a tree, just don't eat it. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. If it doesn't look like something that grew in a pasture or was um, compassionately and kindly raised as a grass-fed animal, don't do it. Don't, don't put your body through it. Keep it simple. Whole foods, living foods means um, healthy, non-factory farmed, grass-fed meats, proteins, right? Two, vegetables. Three, fruits. <laughs> Not complicated, right? For most people, they do really well when they kind of give up dairy, give up gluten, unless you can get like good European style gluten, and just keep it simple. Keep it really simple. Now, if you are wanting um, to lose weight and you want a way to look at carbohydrates, let me share a couple things with you. First, I am a fan of a paleo style eating without the obsessive compulsive component of it. And I'm a fan of the vegan style eating without the obsessive um, uh, reductionistic view that it can have. And I mean no offense to either of those camps. Um, I really align strongly with Mark Hyman in this regard. He coined the term pegan, so paleo-vegan. And really what that means is that you eat mostly fruits and vegetables with modern amounts of really, really healthy grass-fed proteins, you're gonna be in a good place. I'm not a huge fan of the keto diet for most people. I have seen it work really, really well in some conditions because you can get a really powerful effect. But for a lot of people, when we look at the research, there is no difference between a a keto diet, which is mostly fat, right? It's basically a fat dominant diet, low carbohydrates versus a high carbohydrate diet with um, moderate fats um, versus a high protein diet with moderate fats and proteins. You really look long term, there's no difference because the, there's three other factors, mindset, mood, emotions, that would be one, the quality of the food we're eating, and our intention, right? And our movement patterns. So I guess that's four things. So here's a number that I like to think of really in a given day. So I, I'm a swimmer, love to swim, and I love to do kettlebell training twice a week. That's my thing. Love it. it makes me feel great. And remember, I overcame a lot of chronic pain, and this is my method to do that. So I feel really good when I do that. When I'm not doing a lot of strength training or I'm not doing a lot of meters in the pool, meaning a pretty easy day, I don't need more than 100 grams of carbohydrates. And when I'm talking carbohydrates, those are good sources. I'm not going to go shove a Snickers bar um, down my mouth to get my carbohydrates. So 100 grams to 150 max of carbohydrates on mellow days. That's plenty. That's plenty. And then you add in really good fats, olive oils, avocado oils, you know, some saturated fats from grass-fed butter, coconut oils, really, really good stuff. Um, some essential fatty acids from fish or from plants, but you, I really want you to know what you're doing with those, right? So 100, 150 grams carbohydrates every day on heavy days. Like on Saturdays, I'll swim 4,000, 5,000 meters. That's a day when I'm gonna eat upwards of 250 grams of carbohydrates. Why? Because I need to replace those stores, and if I don't, it's really stressful for my system. So if you're working really hard, you're really busy, you're really stressed and you're moving, you can you can eat a little more carbohydrates, but that's my range, right? So on easy days, 100, 100 grams, heavy days, 250 grams. And, and if you just imagine a plate that 70% of it is green, red, yellow, purple, 
right? 70% of it, let's say. Maybe 15% of it is like a starch, like a sweet potato or a yam, and then 15% of it is maybe a grass-fed beef or, or free-range chicken or some fish that's really, really fresh caught that's not a high mercury type fish. You're gonna do great, you're gonna feel really good. For most people, 90% of the people, that is just, that's just a home run eating pattern. Um, so anyway, I'm Dr. Matt Lyon. If you, if you want to hear about my thoughts on fasting, you can see the other video I did there. But I just wanted to give you some guidelines around carbohydrates within a paradigm of understanding that, that there really is no diet that's better than the other when we look at weight loss. It's your intention, it's your movements, it's your stress levels, it's your emotions, and then it's really good quality whole foods. My name is Dr. Matt Lyon. I love you and I hope this is helpful.